Uh, the last 15 seconds. There is weird shit happening. Well, that one's pooped for a minute. <laughs> Speaking of, that happened with a horse the other day. We were walking to work. This horse was perfectly fine. Knew we were there. And we picked the stone behind one of its hooves. Like, rolled and tapped it. And it just took off halfway across the field. <laughs> and so we did something to it. Horses are weird, you know. Right. Yeah. We are officially official. Officially official. Officially official. Everything is set to live chat. Can I actually chat? That is the question. I can. Yeah. There we go. So, this way everyone's saying, what the fuck are you doing uh, streaming on a Saturday? You don't normally, you know. But that's why it's a sucking Saturday. You've got to watch out for sucking Saturdays. Dude, it, oh, you managed to land there. That, that, that's a good bit of uh, pipe. Nella! Yeah. Hi, Nella. How, how are you diddly doodlings now? Now I'm going to get a complaint from Nell saying, Why didn't you ask me? Why didn't you ask me? You know. Is so, this one dead? Why is uh, that one dead? Oh, well, because there's a one with the big horny thing. That roundish horny thing with going around oh. e eating shit all the time when they're not falling off the cliff so because I'm just uh, mostly sleepy all right well there you go M mostly sleepy well welcome to sucking Saturday um, <laughs> what, what do you what do you mean you've not been to bed and useful comes in Hang on a minute. I'm, you know, whenever he types something, I'm always confused because I'm thinking, did I type something wrong? Did somebody else type? And he does it every time. Catches me out. Hi, unuseful. Thanks for confusing the crap out of me there for a second. Yes. Um, so, yes, here we are. Sucking Saturday. And we're back with Distant World Tours. Uh, and this base is by... Little little mate, I, I, I'm, I'm still lost. I'm, I'm totally confused. Unuseful probably killed this one over here, you know. Did you kill this animal? You killed this animal, didn't you? You did. You, you ain't killed that animal. He's, he's, like, <laughs> he's like that, you know. You know. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yes, so here we are with... Um, oh, hang on a minute. Is this actually a teleporter to go up? Because that'd be nice. If this fucker kill... No, it is going up. I always try to, you know... There we go. So, I'm, I'm, I'm going to quickly jump into camera mode. So, Blazing Fire doing this uh, rather intriguing... This is only the start of it, obviously. What's that? Oh, yeah, because the qualifying was on early, wasn't it? Yes. I should actually technically be watching the highlights of that, but never mind. Don't worry. Um but I, I'm 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 not rich enough, you see, to to to, to be able to watch things like qualifying live. Tell me about it. <laughs> but yes, there's a a lovely start to uh, Blazing Fire's base. A little tree bit down the bottom, using a wondrous thing to put in one of the creatures. Yeah, that's so cool. I just got a a buzz in the controller as if an animal's died and I've just collected stuff. Yeah, I had that literally right after mentioning the dead animal. Oh, that's weird. So, yeah, on the platform. Yeah, it is good to see you there and useful. Hopefully you're not working too hard in amongst uh, everything. <laughs> Autocorrect, yeah, then. Autocorrect is the bane of my life. But, uh, yeah, so Blazing Fire's managed to start the... I've just realised that looks like it's actually attached to one of the pillars in the distance that we can see. Hmm. Not all of it's rendered in, actually, because of how far away we are from it. So the view does look a little weird, but we'll get a decent view of that. But the viewing platform where we are is quite tall. Oh, yeah. You don't realise uh, how large it is until you're actually uh, up here. I'm just looking at the... 
it's always a case of working working out what they did to do make the various shapes oh little jittery little jittery ah chaotic has popped in as you say we're confused confusing you today because it's not tuesday and it's not a thursday you see so it's also not a friday yeah i'm trying to remember what i call fridays i call fridays another name and i can't remember what i call fridays but uh yeah um so anyway we head down Ooh, and there is people killing the poor animals it's disgraceful but she's put some teleporters in, so <laughs> something sounds sus. Yeah, that that that's cut the Danny's here, you see. Hashtag yep. link start. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, this is the if, if you ever teleport in, you actually arrive here. So you've got down the actually you get a good view of the viewing platform from here. Oh which yeah, is cool. that's cool. I do, I do like the fact they've used the big diplo on the uh, holographic projector, but then we can yeah. get get a yes, it's Catter Day. You are right, it is Catter Day. Um, oh, hang on, there's another another teleporter. Oh, hang on, numbers. Why there's numbers on there? Don't know why there's numbers on there, but uh, I'm, I'm heading. Oh, we're a bit closer. Hang on, no, that didn't work. That's why. No, <laughs> it didn't work for me either. Uh, okay, we, we, we... Well, the... Did, did I get to the place? Ah. I got to the place. Yeah, I, I think I moved too much, so... I right. walked through the floor. <laughs> That's a good way to do it. Walk through the floor. Not traumatic at all. But, <laughs> no, uh... Never. Oh, there's a door, which just opened. Right, I, I stand here. Now I can go back into... Because they've got the grand staircase with more skulls. Yes, there's a lot more showing now um, from the viewing platform. Some hadn't loaded in. That's there's multiple. So cool. There's multiple teleporters around the place that I can see, and they're all numbered. So rather than a staircase, oh, there are landing pads. Right. Well, because of where the thing is, of course, it's too far away for your ship to, to land on one. But mm -hmm. does mean we don't have to walk quite as far. <laughs> <laughs> nice use of rocks there to make the... Uh, some bits have deliberately been filled in. Yeah. <laughs> you do this, you keep engaging local wildlife. Even though I'm standing still and yeah, 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 I've just felt the controller buzz again, as if to say you just collected oh, you some more the dead green stuff. One that's sliding down the hill. I'm. Oh, yeah, I see a small brown thing that's dead over there. You might only be able to see it from my perspective because of where it is on the horizon thing. Possibly, it's. It's weird. It's weird. But uh, yeah, the the whole build. It. Oh my God! What's uh, the game has glitched? What? Oh 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 oh! He fell down to the ground. How the? That was weird. One of the things with the chunky tail there literally was walking in midair. At least we have ev ev evidence of that. Um, so, yeah, and, oh, I need my notebook, of course, because, like I say, I've got all the stuff in the notebooks. And, and uh, so, this, like I say, this is Blazing Fire. Uh, oh, God, I did not write that down very clearly. Um, minus truth, light of hope in the darkness. I think I'm reading my writing correctly, but that's the name of the base. So that explains why there's a lot of light. Because hmm. obviously it's there's a lot oh. of light. So there's something under the stairs. There's something under the stairs? Oh, there was something under the stairs. It's not there anymore. Oh, there's a dodgy plant down there. 
Yeah, it was that thing, I believe. Oh, there's a few de dead bits. There's lots of animals around here. So, I mean, the... the oop, I'll just walk into the stairs in the wrong way. Anyone who wants a Diplo, the Diplos here have about three different heads on them. And I know some people have a, have a soft spot for Diplos. So, I mean, two of them are visible here. One with the, like, an oval shield. And the other one that looks like he's had an argument with a Triceratops. Which is quite cool. Uh, I did see a third one earlier, but it's obviously down the other end of the base somewhere. But yes, we need to go and have a bit more explore. In, I'll see if I can get another teleporter to work. Well, the last one we went to was 10, and we came out of 11 to access that one, so yeah, probably I'd, looking for number 9. That would be logical if logic applied. Because, yeah. I mean, if it was me building, you, you know you'd be all over the place. Looking for. Oh, yeah. You think a number nine is what you need? Oh, I found accommodation. Oh. I have I have found an unnumbered teleporter. This says seven. Oh, that's no, seven. It's on there, isn't it? I, I was expecting to be on the wall. Yeah, let's go into seven. Let's have a look. Um, okay, so we've got a nice little, extremely well lit room. Ooh, nearly fell off the stairs. So we've got a top view of the... Um, oh, what are those things called? I've forgotten what those glitch items are called. Glitching separator. If I point my cursor at them, I will find... This... Oh, excuse me. Yeah, this is uh, Blazing Fire 77... Is it 3? Yeah, 777. Um, who has done... I think I've only ever visited one of Blazing Fire's bases before. Uh, well, on a stream, I mean, I think it was just like, a, you know, uh, I'm going up because, oh, there's a teleporter up here on the roof. Oh. And it says there's five on it. There's also a cave it. thing there just it, over on the other exit to that room. Yeah, there's, I, think, I think there's a fair few cave. Oh, there's a five and a six right next to each other. Okay, so this brings us to here. Okay, um, I'm going to aim for number six and see what happens. Number six is not working. Oh no. Bugger. <laughs> okay, so number six isn't working. Um, Five. This, this happens, it's amazing how often it can happen and you'll, everything works perfectly fine. And then either an update hits or for just for whatever reason something goes a bit screwy and uh yeah i've found a number eight i'm going to walk into number eight and i think i'm yes i'm higher up the building which is quite cool i'm not all the way up yet the landing pads can't be too far off this is the landing pad in fact yes i'm almost at the very very top so we've got some plants, observation room. We'll drop down a level. They've got stacked rooms. Quite a lot of people have stopped using the prefab rooms. But, you know, I mean, you can do some really cool things with them. I'll have a sit. You see, I'm sat in front of the fire. There we go. Sat in front of the fire, chilling out and relaxing. I take it you're having fun down wherever you are. I just took one called four. Right. Right, this... Gex get stuck on ladders. They do. Yes. Oh, I found a one. And... A... Oh, that's, that's not confusing at all, is it? A one... And an O one. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that was such good driving. Hmm. One and an. What the? 
Oh. I found a ladder. <laughs> yeah, the ladder takes you up to two other rooms, and if you go out the top room, you'll find the number eight teleporter. After you've dropped down the side, because you, you've got all the uh, things up there. Yes. Um... Oh, which civilization is blazing fire with? I've forgotten. But uh, I think, actually, I think uh, they're in about three or four. Right, zero one brings you down to here. This one takes you down but has no numbers. So I'll come back up. Actually, I was, I was, I was going to get a... Uh, let's, let's use number one. No, I'm on the ladder. Yeah. Get that little body. Yeah, oh, no, uh, this bloody ladder keeps catching me too. Right, number one. So I'm on, on the top. Number two, to so say go down. I'm just gonna. Oh, we've still got a storm, which doesn't help. Right. I think I've just oop, nearly overshot. I was gonna, I was gonna jump all the way to the top landing pad, but of course we've got a storm, which really, really helps with visibility, doesn't it? You know. I mean. Yeah. <sighs> I have no navigation data either, so I've got to go all the way back down when we do leave, because I've got no... Although I should be able to... Can I... I'll, I'll call it up here to start with if I can. Can I, can I call it up here? It's very difficult to see, actually, with, with, with the storm in effect, because... Uh, Yeah, that's not going to work. But uh, I may yeah, I have some nav data if you'd like some. Oh, it's all right. I, I can drop down to the. I think it's because I was busy trying to get. Um, I, I yeah, I was carrying a load, a load with me, um, and then for some reason I in, I only bought four maps the other day, and that used the last of the of the things that I had. Um, but uh, I'd, I'd like the storm to bugger off, actually, so people could actually see the distance. <laughs> Let's, uh, get off the ladder. The ladder's got me again. <laughs> the ladder is annoying. Yes, uh, Chaotic. Um, she's done some extremely amazing uh, builds, all with a... I think I've just killed another animal while still standing in the building. Standing in a building. <laughs> Um, yeah, they always Don't have care. a bit of a story to them, which is, I, I always like bases with a story, you know, you can see how, how, how this part of the base is really, <laughs> ladders are dangerous, they are ladders and corners, I mean, come on, um, but yeah, like building in a compound, trying to keep the animals out, and then you've got your... I like the way it's built up the side of one of these pillar bits that, that there are, because... I mean, I've built something that goes around one of these. Literally, round. Um, and I've even built between two, which I, I'm thinking of uh, doing a redo at some point. Mm. At the storms. The storms finally buggered off. But yeah, the uh, in fact, the the viewing platform's so far away that you can see the teleporter, but not the lighting or any of the fancy stuff, and even the diplo's missing. Yeah. Although it's registering at nearly five hundred meters at that point, so that's not bad. Um, of course, the easiest way to get down is just to jump. Hi, Diplo. Hello, Diplo. I'm going to land on the... Oh, sorry, Diplo. I think I just pissed the Diplo off. <laughs> I, I nearly landed on its head, like, so, you know. You do seem to have a problem with Diplos, though, don't you? Uh, yes, in various games, Diplos are dangerous, and they, they, they have something against me. I don't know why. Um, oh, it's nothing to do with the egg poaching. Uh, no, nothing to do with... I, I am very environmentally friendly. I never steal eggs, ever. 
I have video evidence. <laughs> <laughs> we have video evidence. <laughs> yes, there is video evidence. Um, where is... There's, is it this, this is one of two planets that has bases on. Uh, there is one more on this planet and I'm not seeing the icon which is really annoying so if I take off and then do a little swing around it's not that far away that's the other annoying bit it's not very far away ah there it is nope that's the base computer she's put the base computer there blimey okay um That's confusing. Right, gain a bit of height. I know it's here somewhere because it. Ah, there it is. No, that's still showing. Wow. That's all we need is for the for the bases not to show up. You know what I mean. It is kind of typical. It is kind of typical, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what I'll, I might have to do. Um, are you looking for Tower of Living and Lightness by any chance? That's the one we were meant to be at. Well, I'm going to go in that direction because apparently I'm a little away from it. And I will see if it's something new. Me. That's the, well. It's the nail I read out. So I, unless I manage to do an amazing warp out in the wrong direction. Oh no! No no no! That's it. Yes, Tower of Lightness. That is the one we need to head to. Nice. Because it uh, it was the truth and hope of light in the dark. I've even got that one mixed up. But yes. So th this one, and people will know this name, Mister Fishhead, because wow. I've done two fish head bases I think so I'll be there in a few seconds I'm just like yeah I had to land otherwise I was going to hit a platform yeah you've got, to, <laughs> you've got to watch out for things like that right there's a way we've got to work out to see how oh I can see some of the base hasn't loaded just yet there we go Oh, well, how slow can I move to a landing pad? Jeez. Yeah, I was kind of wondering what was happening there. It, it did not look good. Right. Now, this... I'm going to go and stand on this platform, actually. This is very similar to something he's built before. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because... Wow. Except it's got some extra... I mean, it, it's balmy. It's like a signature. Yeah. You know, and, and you can... Certain people, you, you land and you go, oh, this this must be a so-and-so build. And I, he, he's very much got that... Um, that build. I'm trying to remember the very first one. Um, I think... Is... And this is obviously going back quite some time. I think I was with CG and Gary for the wow. first one. And the second one, I think it was me and Wolfie, if I remember rightly. Yeah. Um, we've got a big butt walking over there. There's lots of big butts actually around here. Um, so let's have a quick... I'll tell you what, I'll do, a fl ooh, I'll do a flyover first so people can have a look. Because the central build, you have to circle, circular build with four semicircles, which look to be outfitted. And then you've got a giant space aquarium. For want of a better term, it, it's nicely done. Made a neater job of uh, getting some of those bendy parts than I did. Did you just shoot something? 
Nope. Okay, it just did it again. Yeah, it's... Uh... I mean, like I say, I'm in camera mode, so it's it's rather difficult to try to uh, to shoot anything. Right, I'm going to use one of the teleporters because there's two teleporters here. That one seems to go. He's got a hot air balloon. Yeah. In fact, I think I think one of the builds he's done, he's got several hot air balloons, if I remember rightly. Cool. Of different, slightly different, differing designs. I mean, this is a lot different to the uh, to the others, because it, they, the, it, there's like predominantly um, very similar, like what would you'd call like the basket bit, yeah. and then the the balloon section yes this is like up yeah. what that <laughs> lovely it sends a copy of your ship i have had issues he, he's got a couple of other hot air balloons but they're they're of this this particular design um I had a problem um, the other year where the name of one of my ships actually got renamed. The sh a ship I was meant to have was, didn't exist. A ship from one of my other game saves was in the save I was playing. And there was a whole mess of things went weird. I had to actually do a, a, a restore from a save. So Nell's having lovely ship issues. You could say there's a pile of ship going on. You know, I was waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> I always just with you to tell the good jokes. Well, I don't know about good jokes. You can laugh if you want to, but uh, yeah. And then we. I you see. He's, he's got a cube monolith in the middle of this. Oh. And, I built an entire uh, launch site around a cube like this or very similar to this and if you were to go to that base now because of course this has got the hole in the middle as well if you were to go to that base that I, i've got you'd find it's a diamond shape and it's ruined the entire build uh... because it changed in one of the updates and i'm like yeah it, it was somewhat annoying when, when that happened. So I'm dismantling that base. I might build something similar some, in a different place, but uh, I move up up here. Is that... Ooh, 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 little, little bit of uh, lagginess there. Oh, wow, this is very yellow. I'm, I'm in a yellow something it's like i've teleported in or something i'm on a viewing platform right camera mode again he's made use of the uh, recess in the ground really nicely oh yeah definitely it's like uh er burrows who, who were he deliberately looks for like holes in the ground and then does extremely futuristic things ever cool. so cool So the spiky lights are obviously the signal thingies. And then there's sneaking close enough to be able to see. Oh, it's the uh, pyramid shaped blocks, one on top of the other, mounted with a glitch stack of is it two or three items. I'm not sure, it's either two or three items. But there's some uh, center patination. Very much a show-off base, this, isn't it? It's like, it's like sea horses or something. Jeez. You could use this as, like as a Rorschach test as well. Mm. 
so so many parts the uh, the game is uh, hiccuping slightly while it's in camera mode getting the trees upright on a sloped surface is uh, can be a bit of a pain sometimes I can imagine I wonder how far out I can get on a view before it decides to say nope. Oh, that's it. I've hit, hit my limit. Well, where's the viewing platform I'm on? I'm not up there. I'm, oh, I'm over there, aren't I? I was just wondering how much of this I can get in and on the screen at one go. Now I'll have to remove the puzzle base underwater. Yet, yeah, um... I noticed before one of the patches they added recently that all of a sudden, instead of landing at your um, warp gate or base computer, you would be somewhere outside the base, under a floor, stuck in a wall. Um, no idea why it went dicky, but it, it went dicky big time. Um, That's our animals. There is lots of animals. Right, there's another... Holy... That fucking hell. <clears throat> He's obviously used the uh, wonder projector. Yeah. Put it under the floor so you run around the corner. A fucking creature right there. You're like, fuck. There's also one over here. Oh, yeah. And in a couple of other sections, because I went into the wrong room before. You see, I, I don't think... If I'd run around and met this guy, one of the Wombles, I don't think I'd have been, like, too bothered. But we're running around the corner to see one of these things. It's like, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. fucker. What you doing there? You know. I'm going to have a look at a couple of the others now. Plus there's a teleporter. So there's another Womble. Okay. And on this side we've got... Oh, we've got a Bob! Oh, Bob! Hang on. Right. Taking a selfie with Bob. Cool. There you go. Got to have a selfie with Bob. I will add, add that actually to the distant world tours um, that they actually have a selfie section so you can uh, take take a picture of yourself somewhere and uh, it's because of, look I was at so and so but it's basically like <laughs> posting your holiday photos yeah. you know oh I'm stuck I'm gonna make am I underneath the actual land landing pad I think I'm underneath the landing pad I am under the landing pad. Okay, so I actually, technically I went the wrong way because I was I wanted to go over there. Ooh. Oh, fuck, missed. <laughs> uh, I meant to do that, honest. I was testing. Um, right, hang on. Jump onto there. Let that build up a moment. I still haven't seen the other um, Diplo with the third type of head yet. That's weird. Oh my god, there's so many dead animals. Yeah, that's because the um the ra ooh you bugger. The round one with the um the horn on its head seems to be going around trying to munch everything. Hmm. It it's got this determined approach to to trying to eat everything that it can. So I've uh, got some, um, oh, what are they called again? The shroom things with the light bits. And a light fish up. And then on this level, where you can see them, we've got an aquarium and a very fancy floor. <laughs> Gotta watch out for the teleporter. I'll just. Uh, 
Uh, oh, don't tell me I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, no. It's my camera. I if my camera view can go in, it can bloody well go out. Right. Obviously, you can't. For some reason, it decided it can't. Um, right. So whoop. then we've got a really big aquarium. And, and uh, I forgot what this this one's called, but it's basically got solar system data in it. But uh, someone will remember. Oh, yeah, that's it. It's called a uh, yeah, one of them. Uh, <laughs> can you remember what it's called? No, because it's got a name that's so difficult to pronounce half the half the time. One of the Kelsa Shroom things. You see, I, I just managed to get myself through a gap between two of the pillars. But it wouldn't let me actually go through with the camera. That's just weird. That is. Right, so back down into this area. The other thing is, I mean, some bases can be quite dark. There is so much light on this place that, I mean, even, I mean, I, if I go back to thing i mean we're in daylight at the minute but if i make it night time and you can just see the place just lit so it sparkles like stars is that your dead animal over there no okay. it's not my dead animal well you know it's just that it's ruining my shot <laughs> well i keep saying you're the one killing them so yeah, killing them with kindness that's what it is. Killing them with kindness. But now I'm in this... Uh, per you, building something like this, there, there would be one thing that would piss me off. And that's realising that you got a section one or half a wall out. And you found half the base has to be knocked down so you can then rebuild it. That, that's the kind of thing... I mean, I've, I've seen people do a build... And they've not discovered that they've actually made a mistake like that until they start decorating. And when you look at the decoration on this base, there's a hell of a lot of decoration on this base. So, yeah, that, that would be a nightmare if you if that happened. Oh, hang on. There's a. Just have a, there's a Oh, that's a completely different type of. Diplo with it. That's a window, isn't it? And that's a window, because I'm not going to get through there. Can I go through this hole? Yes. Wow, that is... That is a weird... That is a weird Diplo-type creature. Oh, hello. They've got a flying fish-type thing. That's quite cool, that. Now I need to work out which way is out. <laughs> Where's the door? I've forgotten where the door is. Oh, hang on. It's, it's in that direction. Good job this jetpack's reasonable. Otherwise I'd be screwed. And probably dying. But yes, so Mr. Fishhead doing, as I mean, even decorated up all of the the base terminal, the landing pad, everything. Not looking sus at all there, just hovering above the base, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting. Floating. The dangerous thing is. Whenever you have a landing pad that points in towards the base, it can cause huge problems. And I mean huge, yeah. huge problems, yeah. Right. So now we are heading to another planet for a couple more. There's eight bases totally. Um, right. So because I think there's six bases, we're going to do two more and then we'll do the other four on another stream come back and do them cool. 
So the question is, uh, Isengard is the one I think I'm heading towards. Trophius. I think that's how you put Trophius X. I think that's how you pronounce the name. And I can honestly say, never visited one of their bases. I'd, re I'd have remembered that name. Always put a bit of thought into the names. Have I just? Have I? No, no. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. We're not going to that one. We're going to that one. That one? Is that the one? That's the one. There we go. Right. Probably could do that other one in a second, but we're going to this one first. Right. Nell's got two versions of the Nexus. That sounds really dodgy. Yeah. Right. I'm not seeing landing pads. Right, so... Oh, that's one of the tree... Th oh, he's made one of the tree people. Hmm. Totally Lord of the Rings, you know. Hmm. Yes, just double checking. This is, So this is Trophius X. And... Actually, it's a, it's a good planet to build on for, for that kind of build. Because he's, he's made one of the tree people. Which, I mean, is not, not easy to do. Looks like the tree person's about to hire a load of uh, stuff. And then you've got, like, part of a tower. Busted wall come out of camera view to see that the, the lights changed. Right, if I go up this... To Isengard with doom we come. Getting all... Uh, all musical, you think? <laughs> oh fuck, I just fell off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I, I meant to... <laughs> I, I, I meant to do that, of course. Um, so let's have a look. So we've got the broken wall. Nicely done. Like I said on the on the last tour, um, when you've got things that someone has deliberately made to look broken, it can add a lot. And I I, I think trying trying to do even just a broken wall, it takes doing, because it looks like it's so tricky. Yeah. Because, I mean, obviously, you, you're throwing the bowls at it from the tree. Uh, I think some people just lie stuff down on the ground and make, you know, no, no you need more, more than that. Um, but the, the random save, save beacon in the... Oh, I just fell off. <laughs> I, am doing, I am doing so well at falling off shit at the minute. So well. This, this, this is where I'm going to find someone saying... Just for you, I've gone and put up handrails. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, cheers. Uh, so we've got some dumpies inside here. Yes, your archaeological base. There you go. You say you, you, you could have entered uh, entered that for um, distant world tours. Cause that's the great thing. You've got people of people, some people who have just started, other people who have been building for a long time, all with different building styles. Taking the hobbits to Isengard, yeah. And you get a really good view of the uh, the tree. <laughs> You're saying your base isn't good enough, but the whole thing is, it's about just showing people what you've done. You know, it, it's... I mean, when I think about the uh, thing is going to be showing later today, uh, to do with mine, it's five builds. Three of them I really like. One of them I think is a little dull. 
and one of them I think is fairly standard. But the thing is, they're built, they're there, people can visit them and have a look. And they might think to themselves, oh, that's a good idea, I might nick that. Or they might even look and go, I could do that better. In which case, go and do it. Build it. Do, do better. As long as you're not no, making it's a... It's what we want to do. Yeah, that's it. You know, it's like, have fun, build. Just don't submit a garden shed. What? Oh, yeah. The, we, we did kind of visit... Um, we, we visited a shed. Wall of flame? Yeah, the... W the weather's coming in. That, that, I thought there was a ship above us there with that... Um, Oh, it'll, it's the space station shadow that's just gone above us. Right, okay. So that means if I... Remove that. There it is. Near, near to where the sun is. The space station. Cool. I knew it was there somewhere with that uh, shadow. Uh... Museum at the settlement or creative circular house. Well, that's it. I mean, with, with um, I'll, ooh, I'll just try not to die too quickly there, because uh, you know, that that's never a good sign, is it? Well, dying at all isn't really a good. Sign. <laughs> no, no, it's not. No, I'll just nip inside. Um, but yeah. Uh, with Distant World Tours, when the tour ended last year, I, I, I didn't have enough time. I only got one base made. Um, and I stayed in that system, and I added another four bases, which I built over the space of about six months. And that's what people can now visit. Um, so you, you have plenty of time. I mean, I am looking for... If anyone's got Star Wars build, obviously a lot of us know people like UASF or U, U, USAS. Oh my God, I can't remember his fucking initials. My brain's dead. But anyway, the guy who made the Ultimate Falcon, uh, there's several bases, but we're looking for other uh, Star Wars bases for people to see and make. And because uh, there's bound to be a lot out there that we've not seen. So, if you know of anyone who's done a Star Wars build, then, uh, yeah, let us know. Sounds cool. But, I mean, anyone wanting to be part of the main tour for 2025, I would just say, first of all, find shelter so you don't die, because <laughs> I'm just going to head to my ship so I can be in there and, and not die whilst I'm trying to do wear camera pans and, and the like. Uh, yeah, I mean... You can literally start now. I think the the deadline for the it is basically to have it by the end of December, and that gives about uh, let's have a quick think ten weeks for the team to go around all the bases that are submitted make notes of everything, take a few screenshots, make sure it's all documented, get web pages ready. Um, I mean, there's a lot of behind the scenes work, as you can imagine, to try to make sure everything's listed. Yeah. Um, and then, because it's, it's basically March when it, um, it then opens up to people. So, and it makes sense you you've got to have like a, a oh, i can't do that in this mode can i it, it, you've basically got to have time for people to get everything in place um but yeah knowing that you've got like seven months that you you can do if you want to do brand new builds and of course you can it, it it's uh, whereas mine is five builds in a solar system one build per planet and i'm the only one there but you can do collaborations. Uh, although I noticed in phase two, one collaboration was a little bit overpowered because it was 45 people with 45 builds. Wow, that They're not going to show big. up. No. That, you know. 
Oh, Nell's found out that one of her planets is, that she's built on, and not visited for some time, I'm guessing, is a dissonant world. So, oh. what are you doing with your ship? I was stopping it from crashing into you. Right, okay, so, yeah. That's the great thing with the Sentinel ships. You can, like, do this hover uh, mm -hmm. sort of thing. It still pushes um, you slightly forward, but much less. There's an angry dude running around on his back legs, tra trying to hunt down some creature. Be this tree, tree, tree creature here should be, like, turning around and throwing its balls. Oh, yeah. You've got your eye on something, haven't you? <laughs> Did not launch No Man's Sky for a long time. You scare me. Well, there you go. But uh, yeah, Mister Mister Castle Supremo needs to consider uh, making another build. And uh, like I say, you, you you deadline's the end of December. So and knowing what you can do, you you unuseful definitely needs to get in and uh, do something. It, it's more of if, if you like building and you've got a passion on a subject, because it can be any theme. I mean, all five of the ones I've done, there's a theme that links them. Now, you don't have to do that, but it tells a story. So, yeah. but everybody can do it, you know. And, of course, you can, you, you learn more about whatever building I'm still trying to work out what the, that creature thing is trying to do. It's trying to eat everybody. I think that's what it's trying to do. But um, I nearly lost where the base was there. But uh, yes, the uh, I, I quite like the the the, the, uh, the tree creature. It's it's fairly straightforward. But if you know Lord of the Rings, you know what it is. Oh yeah. You know, it, it's like yeah, we're gonna ho hoist some balls, knock down the thing. It'd be interesting to see what they do for uh, next year if they, if they start working on another build. And because uh, that's the other thing, what you start off with one year and what you are like the next year in the way of builds, it's uh, makes big differences. Big differences. I can imagine. It's really cool with the volcano. Yeah, I mean, perfect planet for it. Like perfect. I'm just checking it. Yeah, I seem to have acquired uh, quite a lot of um, meaty chunks, raw steak, and diplo chunks. So, <laughs> my God! I... Oh, whoa! It's spewing out like rocks. That's so cool. Oh yeah, the volcanoes are lethal. I did consider building on um, a, a volcano itself directly onto a volcano, and then realised just how dangerous that is. <laughs> uh, right, let's have a look. Who's the closest? 210. 17. Right. Because um, there's... That's 36. Right. There's one that's only two... Two minute things away, so let's... Uh, there it is. Steampunk Spire is where we're heading. So I'll be there in cool. about 10 seconds. But yeah, the volcanoes. Of course, you also get the blue volcanoes, Ooh. which are something. Oh, in fact, talking of which, what have they gone and done? They've built on top of oh, the thing. Oh, wow. So That's so cool. I'm going to land on the lower landing pad. So. Oh, wow. It just exploded. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So yes, we've got a. I've just yeah. seen some rocks. We've got the terminal base things right. Um, I need to check my list again. So steampunk. Oh, this is actually another Mr. Fishhead. He's obviously built two here. So I've got two down for him. Um, I have to double check the uh, base computer, which I believe is up there. Right, teleport up. It's teleport cool. up. <laughs> Build me an army worthy of Mordor. Mordor. Yeah. 
So you've got like hovering trees. Which is cool. That seems to be sending out... Oh, he's got another hot air balloon observation post he's made. Hang on. I think that's a, a cool idea. But, oh, fuck me, you're right about those flames. Jeez. <laughs> wow. Literally coming up inside the base like that. Yeah. Oh, whoosh. It's awesome. I mean, it makes for a, a, a weird, I mean, it's a dangerous build site. Because, I mean, if you're in oh, creative, yeah. fine. But a lot of people build these in normal. Uh, so, obviously, you've also got to go and source a lot of the materials. That's crazy. In a cool way, though. thing is, again, you could do a Star Wars build if with one of these volcanoes and do yourself a Mustafa base. Yeah. Ideas for anybody watching. Um, <laughs> give me your bases. But yes, it's... Uh, there's a control room. Oh, there's more flames coming up. I think when you're in uh, camera mode, you actually lose a little bit of the, uh, the flame and devastation. Yeah. Uh, ooh, there we go. I got stuck on the on the thing. So we've got pipes, and he's used some of the parts that make noises, which is good because it it gives it that industrial feel. Bobs. Yeah, the industrial feel. Bobs. That's a, <laughs> ooh. Excuse me, was I get lost in what I'm doing? Where no, we came there, so we, yeah, teleporters where I need. <laughs> Ooh, all right, I got too busy looking at everything. I'm like, oh, where am I going? Oh, flames. They said SpaceX needs a flame diverter. Jeez, <laughs> you know, these guys could outsource, yeah, yeah, do some outsourcing. So I'm in one of the mini towers, which has got like bedding. The lighting, of course, has gone. Strange because Weird. we're stuck, stuck so close to the flame and death and destruction. Do you like flame? I was just having a quick look there. Yeah, I, I have noticed a few bases have ended up getting buried when. You know, it's, it's a build mistake. Sometimes you can do it and oh. it works. Woo. Sometimes That's so the, cool. Below us. Oh yeah, you look down, you see the spinning bits. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm just going that bit higher on that uh, thing, because. Yeah, because you can look down on the room that you've just been in by following the stairs round, and look down again. I'm just waiting for. Yeah, Fisher could probably do uh, something like a, a Babylon Five space station the way that he's got. Um, this let's let's uh, we've got a down and solar panel in here. Yeah, there's. If you can re recognize the parts, that always helps for getting. Uh, if you want to try to copy the build. Oh, hang on, which one did I just use? Well, that one I used right. So. If you want to look well-positioned uh, weather stations. I think I'm at, at the top. Oh, you, you bugger. My vision went completely there. Right, there's another teleporter there. We've got another uh, exocraft, uh, a series of exocraft domes. Mm -hmm. Here's the bite beat. Uh, cables. I love the star, that's so cool. Yeah, and they're not touching in, in at the points. I know, uh, yeah. And that, that takes a bit more doing. <laughs> that, that's... Uh, right, where was... Oh, yeah, bugger. That really is quite a whoosh. Right, and I've gone up to the top 
so you can look down again drop into camera mode so oh so this isn't actually the top yet there's the, there is a there's another section Blimey. Ah, here's a yeah there's the other teleporter you've got more racetrack points right and so another I'm... teleporter So we've got another one. Can you walk on here safely? You can walk on here. I do like the fact that uh, they brought in parts that give movement. Because uh, a, lo a lot of people were saying, you know, something that can make the base feel more alive yeah. and it does i mean between the sound and the movement oh that's good so you've got the statue and then a hand sticking out of the statue holding the hologram of the geck mm. that's good i like that I did actually use a couple of uh, the robotic heads with the blue lights on for one of my builds, as if they'd been dug up in among. Even though it's not, it's not an archaeological site. I mean, that that would be something. Uh, <laughs> Nels can do the digging up of robots. Um, there's another, there's another teleporter for going up. Is this the top? Oh my God! There's a. Hang on a minute, there's no arrow on that teleporter. Hmm. Oh wait, yeah, if you uh, go into it during the storm, it's not a good idea. Oh, well, that just sounds like fun. Oh, it, it takes you up to a viewing platform. Yeah, That's probably, so yeah. Nice. So he's g g given it, it, it's a balloon. So he's using it as a balloon icon. Right, Let's see if I can get a... Yeah, I mean, the, the, the colourful light and everything. I mean, it's impressive in the daytime, but I think at night time, I think it looks even better. Yeah. Wow, that was another blinding light there. I'm getting a little bit of frame rate drop just because of the amount of action there is with the volcano. I'm also guessing this is probably a near max build because there's a lot of parts here. There really are. It's unbelievable, but they've done so well with it. And I mean, the top piece with the the uh, light sphere on the top. I mean, it's like making a face. When you sort of disappearing, going AFK. We probably only dropped in today to see if there's anyone to ban. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny when he, he, he he's here everyone behaves I think I think that's what it is he's here everyone behaves then he's not here and somebody starts playing up yeah but that that is really quite a I need to move before I get toasted But there's some. Uh... Oh, now the storm clears. Oh wow! Timing. That's flaming typical. But uh, I mean, you don't really need the storm considering how, how much the the volcano gives you. You know. Yeah. 
And yes, I'm walking around on the outside where I know you're not really meant to be, but you know. That's how I got it. Exploring. It's like a, a multi-leveled chandelier. Yeah. That that I, the coloring really is cool. Like it is. But you you do get the blue volcanoes as well, which. I mean, I think they refer to them as ice volcanoes, but you still take a lot of damage. Yeah. If you try try being silly and walking on um, certain parts. I remember when I was, uh, I mean, I'd, I haven't done it for a long time, so I don't know if in, in an update they've gone and changed uh, certain things, but I remember I'd been in creative on a weekend mission. And I'd gone on and I'd walked on a volcano. Uh, didn't think anything of it because I was in creative. And then I went and did the weekend mission in normal and killed myself. Oh, no. And I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, and of course, grave, the gravestone you have to pick up, of course. Where was it? Right on the fucking volcano. So. No. Yeah, that took some doing. I had to put down a, a base computer and then you build myself a path so I didn't actually touch the thing. <laughs> and goes, I will not die, I will survive. Yeah. Like Lego. Yeah, oh, like Lego's hilarious with, with the uh, don't worry, I'm perfectly fine. And yeah. Although I was still a bit sus when that. Uh, Lego decided that it, it was going to let all the bad guys come out, even though it was daylight. And I'm like, there's something really wrong today on this game. <laughs> really wrong. <laughs> but that, that is a really cool build. Tall, big, big build, which actually gives you the feeling it's probably used more parts than it actually has. Because that's a, a lot of... It's got to be close to 3,000 parts limit. But it, it, it takes quite a bit of doing to... Uh, now I've got to try to get back and not toast the crap out of myself. Oh, that's a... Not a solid surface. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Th th those triangular spaces are not solid surfaces. There is no floor there. Uh, might be an idea to remember that, I think. Maybe a little. I mean, you can jump down the middle. I just jumped to the landing pad that I was on. Oof. But, uh... I think he nailed it on the uh, the name because I've been mean, oh, yeah. very very steampunk style. That is cool. And like, and is this is this that is that the room with the thing? Oh no, this is a different room. Yeah, because he's got he's got the different rooms with the different motion bits in the bottom. Yeah, there you go. That's the that's the other one that's got the swirly whirlies. I think that's the technical term, but I'm not sure. Well, if you said it is, then it is. <laughs> From now on, it is called the swirly whirly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, that could have been a mistake. Oh yeah, and that's all I need. I'm I'm kind of stuck down one of the tower sections. Um, yeah. Uh, how how do I get out? 
Is this going to burn the shit out of my feet? No. Amazingly, this piece won't. Good job it's not one of those animated pieces, otherwise it would. But that is... That is a really, really cool... Build. I'll pull back a bit and see if I can get a good wide view. But it, it has got that very steampunk feel about it. Which is really, really cool. But yeah, I, I do think somebody could, could make use of uh, a volcano. Especially if they find the widest volcano that they could find. And then they could do a Star Wars st style Mustafa build. That... that um, that is absolutely balmy, 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 I'll now learn how to speak in a minute. That that is cool. That is really cool. Um, oh, that did not work. Luckily, being this type of a planet, it does mean that I can like float across. Yeah. Otherwise, your your thing runs out. And then you're just dead after that, of course, which is, is not very good. No. Of course, visibility is practically zero. Ooh! I just stood on nothing. That was good. I was wondering what you were doing. So that one goes up. That one goes down. So I think... Yeah, I'm in the midpoint again. And I'm back down to where I am parked. I think we'll do a bit of a flyby. And then, like I say, tomorrow I'm thinking of adding another stream in which will have the other four bases on this uh, world. So you'll be able to have a good look at those as well. And... Yeah. Uh, Then we'll, there's, I've got to try, I've forgotten which day of the week we're, we're going to do, but uh, then there'll be another Distant World Tours uh, next week. I'm working on another video for Distant World Tours, and there's going to be another couple more uh, over the next, uh, well, into well into May, uh, through May, in fact, there'll be other uh, tour days where we will be visiting more amazing builds from amazing people. So... Thanks very much, Danny, for being here. Anytime. And thank you, everyone, in chat for popping by and saying hi. Hope you've enjoyed the visit. All the details will be in the description in a little bit after I've uh, <laughs> had time to type it all in and, and the likes, although I might, I might actually drop it fully in uh, after tomorrow's stream. Uh, and until then, we will see you next time. Bye for now, everyone. Bye.